Right, so before we start any haircut guys, I always like to put in my horseshoe section and I always like to start from the crown and all the way to the front of the hair. So we're going from the crown and brushing through here and then brush into place. To know where you've actually put the exact section in the right place is by seeing that there are no kinks sticking up. If there was kinks sticking up, I would move over a little bit. So I can see a kink here a little bit. So we're just going to take an extra bit of section of hair and come through there and brush into place. So now I can see that sits a little bit better. So yet again, we're going to repeat the exact same thing this side from the crown straight through to the front of the head and brush in place. So now that we've created our horseshoe section, we're going to start by putting in our foundation line in. So before we actually put in our first cut for our foundation line, we want to know what sort of shape we want to create. So our occipital bone is down here, but its occipital bone isn't actually that prominent and it comes up nicely like here. So when we come out here, it's going to be more of a squarer shape. So I like to put my comb at the back of the neck if I want to create more weight and that will guide you to down here so where the top part is here where it starts to come off the head that's where our foundation line needs to be and then we're going to follow all the way around brush it into place so that we know that we're keeping the same shape. Making sure that we follow our guide as we go through. So now we've created our foundation line on this side of the head. We're just brushing it forward and you can see that we've got a nice shape and a flow to the hair. So now we're going to go back to where we started and we're going to follow the same guide that we've cut through here and follow in all the way around again. Making sure that the hair is all saturated as well so if it starts to dry off just make sure that you wet it down otherwise that you can have if it's drier on one side than the other the cut will be more uneven all right so now that we've created our foundation line in we're going to do a, a middle part in basically from our growth pattern to growth pattern. So that is from our crown to maybe our cow's lick or uh, widow's peak, basically where the hair naturally lies. So we create this section for the guide for our foundation line on both sides. So we're gonna be creating connection from the top so this will basically connect and it'll be a, e a lot easier to blend into So now we've created our middle part in there and now we're going to connect the top into our sides. So as we've parted here we don't actually need to come back towards the back, we just want to come from the sides here as we're pulling it over. So the elevation 
is dependent on the weight you want to keep. So if I bring it up here, we're going to have a more rounded shape and the lower we have it, we're going to have more of a bulkier, squarer shape. But today we're, we're literally just going to be pulling straight out so we've got a nice, soft, square shape. Coming through, following that guide that's underneath. And as we want to keep a lot more weight at the front, we're going to start to angle downwards and outwards. And this will create a lot more weight at the front on the fringe area. Repeating exactly the same thing again on the other side. And as you can see, it's all basically blended in. So when we start to do our clipper work, it'll be a lot easier to blend. Now we're moving to the top of the hair. I like to start back here at the crown and to take the desired length off. Uh, we also have our short bit here and here from when we connected the sides uh, through our middle part in. So that is basically the desired length that we would want to take off there. So there's the desired length. And now we're going to just chip into that. And take another section forward. And now we have our guide throughout the whole haircut. So we'll follow this process all the way to the front and then we will connect sides to the top then. So now we're, we've got to the front, we're going to be pulling to one side. So now we have our longer bit by here and we have a short bit there and a short bit there and that's what we know will connect to the side then. And now we're going to be working backwards through the head. And then repeating the same thing on the other side of the head. We have a short bit here and a short bit here, so we know where to cut. So that is actually the top done guys. But before that we move on to our clipper work, I wanna just go through the top, and just add some texture and take some of that weight out. So I'm gonna use my feather razor on wet hair and just go through it just to, to keep the same shape. You're just taking weight out of that, that hair then. And it'll be a lot easier to manage and uh, maintain for him before he comes in for his next haircut. Also, if you use the razor on dry hair, you, you can take like big chunks out of the hair and it would leave the hair a lot uneven. So make sure that you only use it on wet hair and that, that'll make sure that, you know, you don't mess up anywhere. So that is actually how I do the top guys. And uh, I'll show you the finished look now. So this is the finished product guys. I hope you enjoyed. 
uh, we didn't blow dry any product in at all so it looks good without any product in it and uh, until next time guys